Okay, one thing I want to film <clears throat> before I put this cap on here. This is the starter solenoid, and this will be the 12-volt terminal on your solenoid. Through your ignition switch, when you turn it to the start position, you apply 12 volts to this side, which energizes the solenoid and then allows 12 volts from the battery to flow directly to the starter motor. So you're controlling a large current voltage with a low current terminal. And I have put a diode in here. I don't know how well you'll be able to see this. This end up here with the black on it is what's known as the cathode. It will have a white band on the diode. That end goes up here and attaches directly to the small terminal on the side of the solenoid, the 12 volt terminal. Down here is a red wire which is the anode, the other end of that diode, and it goes directly into ground. I've got it attached here to the aircraft ground. The purpose of this diode is to prevent when this solenoid shuts off and the field collapses in the coil, it will create a large back current, reverse current. It shunts that current to ground and prevents it from going through into your ignition system. So when you're wiring up your Excalibur, remember to put this diode into the circuit system with the cathode facing to the small 12 volt terminal and the anode, the end without the band, there's a little white band on that diode, it's probably impossible to see in this video, but the anode, or yes, the anode goes directly to aircraft ground. And that's it. I'll do a, another video here in just a minute when I get all this put together.